and then I just wanted to sit up and just have a chat with you about your creative practice and how it's sort of been affected by all of this. Um, The uni assignment was creative practice for chosen subject. I had chosen Polish artist Wojtek Kozlowski, who lived in Dunsborough. Travel within WA has been restricted from Tuesday. You cannot travel outside of your region without an exemption. They were closing the borders in our state. I had two days. the clothes which I usually wear, so I thought I'm not going to be pretentious and put something nice. <laughs> That's an absolute. When I was growing up in the communist country, which was Poland in the 70s, 80s, um, the life was quite, quite tough and um, there was no a lot of future and being pushed around and my mom was struggling to put food on the table, I, I realised I, I had to go somewhere else. You know, I was just, I couldn't, I was choked. Uh, all my creativity, everything was pushed down and I was not able to spring my wings and take the blinkers off. I'm watching my back if somebody's you know, following me and, uh, and trying to grab me and pushing me back in a prison because I was against communists. So. summer holidays, I was going to my grandma village and also blacksmith there. And he was bashing still and melting and shaping and I was fascinated. Actually it's strange because I would just look at something and it's there. I can't explain, it's just that instant created shape because i'm fascinated by nature uh, that's my big, biggest teacher i don't have shame to copy it extremely damaging extremely i'm a, a commission for um Mumbrae cathedral school and that is my last commission my gut feeling is for this year. So not so bad compared to communists. So nobody is arresting you, nobody's shooting and then